World leaders have endorsed an ambitious new global anti-malaria action plan and committed billions of dollars towards reducing the number of malaria deaths to near zero. The action plan, launched simultaneously in four countries, including Kenya, and at the UN summit in New York, will support rapid implementation of the Rollback Malaria Campaign with coordinated inter-country efforts. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon led world leaders and heads of government, including President Mwai Kibaki, at the UN Millennium Development Goals Malaria Summit to launch the new Global Malaria Action Plan, the first ever comprehensive blueprint for global malaria control. The plan commits billions of dollars towards reducing the number of malaria cases. The action plan, which was also launched in Nairobi, Manila in the Philippines, Bamako in Mali and Brazil demonstrates that by achieving the call for coverage of malaria interventions by 2010, it is possible to save more than 4.2 million lives by 2015 and lay the foundation for a longer-term effort to eradicate the disease. It's time for action. It is an appropriate time for action because we now have the tools to actually control malaria to a level that we can start thinking of elimination and eradication with more funding being put in the fight against malaria especially from the global fund interventions such as distribution of long-lasting insecticide treated mosquito nets indoor residual spraying and prompt treatment has seen reduction in cases of malaria we are winning the war against malaria in this country we've had tremendous successes we have not experienced any malaria epidemic in the last five years in fact, from, 200, from 2003, we haven't experienced some of the epidemics which used to make us not sleep. Analysts, however, say it will require a concerted and coordinated effort to get the targeted near zero cases of malaria. The journey is not going to be easy. And let me say that as we move from one phase to another, from control to elimination and eradication, we will have to change our strategies because we are dealing with a disease whose dynamics can be very, very challenging. They have, the disease has been with us for a very long time. Among those who have pledged more funding include the World Bank with over 70 billion shillings for Africa, round eight of the Global Fund, and 4.8 billion shillings from the UK Department of International Development, among others. Mwendo Kyogora, KTN News at 1.